All right. So over here, from a distance away, it almost looked like a, like a big animal, but it's a beautiful big termite mound. And uh, as you can see, it is a little bit broken off this one because the animals use it to rub against and the elephants and the warthogs and all kinds of things rub against it. However, I'm pretty sure it's still active in there. They're just having a bit of a harder time. So inside you'll have thousands and thousands, if not millions and millions of termites. Now you'll have a couple of different ones. You'll have a queen in there. You'll have uh, the workers that protect. They make only about 5% of the whole population. And then now uh, you have the workers and they're the most important. So a lot of them are harvest the termite and then they'll bring everything around this area sometimes you'll see it's quite open around the termite mound then they'll take everything inside and from there they they do their things now something interesting the queen is one of the longest living insects that we have in the world she can live up to about 30 to 50 years and she lays about a, anywhere from 20 to 30 thousand eggs a day so that is on a big big scale so i always say that's a whole world going on right there um, and it's amazing how they carry on on their daily routines, no issues, no problems. They just know how to survive out here. And of course they do a great good for the environment, regenerating all the growth and nutritional values around these areas. And uh, feeding with dead decaying um, pieces of plants and wood and all this, those types of things. So very often you'll see them sticking out. As I mentioned, they do sometimes look like an animal. but a lot of times you will find animals on them especially things like your cats and cheetahs nice little vantage points on top of there to keep a lookout over over the area to, to look for any other predators or prey and then very often as well you'll see that they've got big holes dug inside of them so that's a very elusive animal that we all really want to see we do have them in Radique it's just a little bit of a bit of luck in the right place and that's art fox so these guys are quite an odd looking animal but they dig really really well and they'll dig into that hard structure and then with long tongues take out those those termites now after that even if it's not active about 26 different species will use this thing as, as a home anywhere from snakes to mongoose to owls to wild dogs to hyenas so a lot of animals benefit then from that again so everything goes into the cycling but you'll see them all over termite mounts beautiful